Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna take a deeper look at the Lance Master in Lost Ark. This is a brand new class that was introduced just last week. So basically six months into the game's release, they already came up with a new class. Now, um, this is good news obviously because that means that the devs are constantly working on improving the game which i can tell you they are week by week something changes something big or something small um, and also new classes right surprisingly though the lance master was added not as a um, a separate profession like the fighters are the gunners are and so on and so forth the lance master was added as a fourth choice to, to the fighter profession. This is to me very surprising because there are two spots free in the class selection choice in Lost Ark which implies that there's gonna be two more professions that will host a subclass of three classes. Um, however, the Lance Master was added as a fighter as a fourth which also implies that the warrior classes are gonna get a fourth the uh, uh, gunner classes are gonna get a fourth and also the mage classes are gonna get a fourth maybe even before another profession comes out so uh, very interesting uh, uh, choices and path the devs wanted to take right but let's take a look at the lance master guys a class that feels fantastic um it doesn't take very long to get one to level 50 so i got mine to level 50 i played a little bit of content um not anything hardcore but enough to to get the feel of, of of the class the lance master is not a very complicated class in the fighter profession the lance master uh, uses these blue skills just as a basic uh, thing and red skills yeah two types of skills blue skills are hosted here while red skills are hosted here after you press your innate skill right the um, lance master's innate skill is let's call it a skill swap in that sense you swap from blue to red skills you don't really swap your weapon as you can see well kind of you do this is a this is let's say this is a thinner lance or a longer sword however you want to put it right while the one that hosts the blue skills is a bigger lance thicker sword in that case right so it is a weapon swap but in reality it's just a skill swap in between blue and red skills so the main point of the class is to use your skills and fill up these three gorges right here when these three gorges are filled and you swap your stances then you will get a buff right here you can read this Google translated description on, of what it does but basically if one gorge one line here is filled up by using these skills and being in combat and then you swap from blue to red then you're just gonna get movement speed 5% increase if you have two bars here, here filled up then you're gonna get uh, movement speed 10% and damage to enemies 10% increase and then if three bars are filled up you're gonna get movement speed 15%, damage to enemy 10% and critical damage 25% increase. So obviously the idea behind the class is to gather fast these three bars here, swap, get the buff that I just mentioned to you for, for three bars, use your red skills and then fill up this bar right here as you can see. It fills up automatically, you don't really need to do anything for it to be filled up. However, if you use skills on a mob, then the bar fills up much faster than it would just be um, in terms of AFK as you can see here, right? We're gonna swap from red to blue and we have here the buff and then while we are in blue, we're gonna try really fast to fill up our bar with a variety of skills that we have here uh, the class has access to a lot of CC um, the class has access to a lot of immunity also for PvP as you can see we still have three seconds of this buff and we are about to fill up the gorge here the main idea is to be done filling three bars before the buff from the previous stance expires so what I'm trying to say is that we're going to swap and then really quickly we're gonna try to fill up our three bars basically before this buff that I have on me above my skills expire. That that would be let's say the ideal way because then I would be able to swap again for the full three bar effect on blue skills. And that is basically the main idea of the class, yeah? You have to, in terms of, in terms of making your combos, in terms of making your skill build here, you have to keep in mind efficiency in swapping stances right and getting the full three line buff on yourself so you cannot 
add here in blue skills only skills that have 24 seconds cooldown right because those do the most damage and so on and so forth a class that feels very nice a class that as i've said has access to a lot of nice cc a class that feels pretty fast because it's part of the fighter profession as well um a class that does okay in pvp not great it has um it has some classes against which it cannot do very very well um for example the heavy wearers right the warrior the warrior profession um lance master kind of suffers with them because uh, first of all they're most of the times immune to cc or soft cc and second of all they wear heavier armor so that means the lance master's damage is gonna take a while before you get down a heavy wearer right some ranged classes also can do uh, well against Lance Masters, like for example, uh, a blaster, right? Going full ham, uh, that spells trouble for the Lance Master. However, um, a mobile class, a class that requires you to swap and maybe you can do a lot of things after swapping, jump, CC, and so on and so forth. A class that has access to a little bit of, of, of uh, ranged skills, like for example, this one, right? It's a ranged skill. It almost hit the dummy right there. Um, so. A class that gives you choices and options. It feels very nice to control. It kind of feels as nice as an infighter. Kind of feels as nice as a battle master in that sense. It's a melee class with access to some ranged skills. Infighters also have a little bit of range to their skills in that sense. However, I feel that, um, that the Lance Master has a little bit more range. Like, for example, this is another skill that has range. The sounds, obviously, as with every other class in this MMORPG, the sounds for the skills are absolutely amazing. The sounds that the character does um, are super, super good. Same as with every other class. And overall, um, a nice class to play in PvP and in PvE as well. I'm pretty sure some people will like it. I already see that some people are doing super well uh, on it. Um, that's kind of all I wanted to say about this class. This was just a, a, a basic review of the class. I like it. Thumbs up for this particular class. I even thought about focusing a little bit on this class, but uh, then I remembered that uh, I like others a little bit too much to uh, spend time on uh, on a Lance Master. At the end of the video, let me show you their um, awakening skill, their elite skill as I call it. Uh, we're gonna spawn one of these uh, mobs and we're gonna use both of our elite skills. So this one, for example, is something that you charge up and you place on the ground. And then it explodes in a huge nuclear blast. And then the other one is something that you hold. Very nice stuff. Very impactful things. You feel so nice when you cast this ultimate skill. It's just... really cool that's about it guys if you want to see all of the other classes i have episodes of discovering lost ark in which i tell you basic things about lost ark i give you the basics of the game i have talked about all of the other classes so far i'm gonna link all of those episodes with other classes in the description below um i'm also gonna link the video where i talk about how to play lost ark in korea before it comes out for us in the west if you want to um, listen to that and play it and that's about it guys i thank you as always so much for watching and um lots of love i'll see you soon in my next video